So let me ask you in your life right now, relationship, like, is it kind of like, if it comes, it comes, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> well, I'm not looking for, I mean, I'm not putting energy into dating, to be honest, or even time for that. However, um, I trust in the universe. So um, if I met someone is like, I'm present and connected with myself, but um, yeah, I'm not going out to in looking so for, yeah, searching for. Let me, let me ask you, if you were in a relationship, are yeah. you, are you the submissive type? No. Or would you be submissive? Uh, submissive, <laughs> in which aspect? So in terms of like, you're with a man, submissive in terms of you asking me if i'm gonna be like housewife or not <laughs> no no that's not, not necessarily a housewife but like submissive in terms of like okay he's the man he's leading in terms of like the man leads of course you do your thing mm -hmm. do you kind of get what i'm saying yeah for example if so when i am in a, um in a relationship i want to sit in my feminine energy i want to receive you know so that's me I know I don't want to always make decisions. Yeah, yeah. Clear, I will for a clear example. If I have a man, a proper man who is staying in the masculine energy, he's going to say to me, oh, so what kind of food do you like? I don't know. I like sushi. Um, I like seafood and um, vegan food, good vegan food. I love it. He will say, okay, let's go dinner on Thursday. Can you? Uh, I can't on Thursday, but I can on Friday. Cool. Let's do it Friday. What time can you do it? Oh, I can do it like 7 p.m. Perfect. Here we go. Let's do it. Okay, cool. I found this restaurant. I found this restaurant, he will say. I found this restaurant, whatever. It's a vegan restaurant on Friday at 6 p.m. What do you think about it? I checked the restaurant. I love it. Let's go. I don't want a man to say, oh, I want to see you. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> Well, maybe we can go for dinner. I can, I can ride you. I will find a place. No, I don't want, I'm not wasting my time. Yeah. I'm not going around to see what happened, what it works, what it doesn't. I really yeah. try. You, you want, yeah. I want decision yeah. to so make, to be made. Yeah. You know, yeah. obviously there is some decision that I'm going to make, but I want a man to say, oh, we're going to, uh, we're going to out even in life. Can you imagine a man who doesn't make the decision what we're going to eat? And then they say, if I want to make a big decision in my life, I want to ask him, what do you think about this? Or if he said to me, I don't know, babe, do whatever makes you happy. I can't do that. I can't deal with that. I need a man to say, look, from my point of view, I feel like this is the reason. However, this is your think or sense. So this is my other point. That's why I want to have a You want that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like for example, like even with, with, with my girl, she submits in terms of like I lead. So I'll be like, hey, like, look, Babe, you're beautiful. Let's create your YouTube yeah. channel. You know, we'll do this, this and this. Hey, let me ask you a question. Have you ever thought of starting a podcast? I know it's a scary thought at times. Where do I start? What equipment do I use? How do I produce a whole show? Maybe you're someone out there who loves yourself and loves the message in who you are and how you're spreading your unique gifts out to the world, but you just need a platform to do it on. You need a platform for people to be able to go and hear your unique and valuable story and how you're impacting people's lives. Well, here at the Rabasha Family Podcast, we're really proud to be able to use podcasting to change the world. We have been doing this and it has changed our life. For us to be able to market and be able to tell our stories of people around us and the way it's impacting and adding value to people's lives. You are that person. You have that gift, you have that talent, and that gift and talent needs to be seen. It needs to be heard. Your downfalls, your amazing moments, your business needs to reach more people. That is what we do here at the Rabasha Family Podcast. So for a select few, we can have you as a guest on our show. For me as the host to ask you questions about what you do. This is a skill, creating this content, being able to film, produce it. It is a valuable skill that we have learned and we want to utilize that to help as many people as possible. So you'd have me as your host, ask you questions, get to know you and your business and how to build up your personal brand. We're then able to market and repurpose content from the podcast 
on all platforms, including your network. So if you really wanna be in touch, if you wanna be a guest on our show and be able to use marketing material from this valuable podcast, from your valuable story out to more people, we have that available. If you need help and assistance in publishing and producing your own podcast and just don't know how to go about it, how to do it, and you need that assistance, we provide that service as well. Being able to fully produce, edit, and publish your podcast on all networks. And maybe you just need a consultation call, some help in order to, how can you go about this strategy? Strategic ways into thinking on how you can use your podcast as a funnel for your business. You could use the podcast as a funnel for your personal brand, for people to know the face, for people to know your amazing story. If just one person can be impacted from your story, that is what matters. This is something that 100, 200 years from now, your legacy will be remembered by. So the link in the bio, there is a form for you to fill out. Go out there, fill out the form, and we'll get you started on how we can help your personal brand today. You know what I mean? So it's like I lead, and then she's like, okay, cool. And so it's just like, she can follow my lead. And then also it's like, as a man, I have a vision of where we're going. Hey babe, I'm thinking about the next 100 years. Let's go bring the camera here. Let's do this. Let's document this. I think you have so much potential. I want you to do this. I'm going to be doing, you know what I mean? So it's like- So leading that this situation, of course, Mm. but if he, if he, your girl grow up and she wanna have her own opinion as well. So she expect in any decision, she, she will ask you, what do you think about this? Me, as a strong woman, I don't want someone to say, oh, whatever makes her happy, babe. I can't deal with that. It's for me, it's a child thing. It's a child answer. Because if you ask me, I will tell you my opinion. You know what I mean? I want a two ways feedback relationship. That's what I'm looking for. I don't think it's that hard. I feel like uh, people is afraid to speak the truth, mm. which is different. Because I, I think that the masculine and feminine roles, they're so key in life. Do you know what I mean? Like when you have, when it's a proper masculine man in the house, a proper feminine, a feminine who's strong in her energy, but like you said, soft, who doesn't want to lead, who doesn't want to be masculine. You can allow me as a man to take control, take charge, to be a provider, exactly. you know, also to give you the access to, to do what you want to do. But as I said, I'm the provider. You're going to, you help me build the family, soft feminine queen. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. It's like you just say men are the provider. Yeah, so, protective. So it's like energy things. We're not talking about the role, the society rules. It's like energy things. They are providers. So they provide security, stability, whatever you can translate that's word for you. But it's security, stability. I don't want to make decision. I don't want to say wake up in the morning to say, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to go there. We're gonna, can you imagine? I get tired. I can't play in my feminine energy to be soft and nice if you want me to make decisions. I make decisions in my work. I make decisions in my uni. I make decisions in my own life. So I don't want to have that role into a relationship. And and even if if there's a woman who earns more money than a man, it, it's it's still possible for them to still have that traditional yes. role as a man even not being insecure about it because a lot of men get insecure in that situation but saying all right cool you earn the more, more money i'm still doing this we can still allocate funds exactly. you can still lead and i think a woman um a one who's also doesn't let her ego get in the way because she's earning more money mm-hmm. can look and be like all right cool yeah i believe you let's do it and it can work exactly no the economic things is like yeah it's a it's a very sensitive talk, talk. however i don't mind to earn more money than my man, my man can lead in other aspects of life. It's not just money, it's like wealth, it's relationship, it's like the knowledge. Edge, knowledge, friendship, trust, loyalty. There is other things that can he can lead to balance this relationship out. So it's a good point. Facts. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and I'm sure you're gonna love that one.